Hi, there was a question on setting up different vendors for ISPM 15. Hopefully I'll make it clear and I'm very sorry this is so late. It's just been crazy today and I'm hitting this uh, pretty late. All right, in your lumber, okay, where you're adding your ISPM and your mar marking materials as eradicated, you are going to put in the different vendors. The idea is you do have to enter your cost for that particular vendor. And you should have the list of the different vendors that you use for your materials and they'll always be in this list. When you go to the ISPM 15 tab, and we're going to use 2x4s as our example, the material off of the identifier, PO, invoice, whatever it is you put on your tracking goes in here and you're marking the one that's currently being used on the floor. Now, whoever the buyer is of your lumber, they can either have a cross-reference, okay, to the vendor, or you can use the notes field to say, okay, this invoice or identifier or PO is for this vendor, this one's for that vendor, and this one's for this vendor. So as this information changes and Crate Pros tracks the new invoice, you know which vendor it is, and of course you can get rid of the old one and put it for the next order that's coming in. As you see, you can track up to three different orders at a time. All right, so let's say this is the one that's currently active. We're putting it in here. Now, at this point, if this is the active one, your foreman and your Sawyers have the ability for the materials to mark which is the active material. Currently, as you are doing this, you already have to have your floor staff say, hey, I'm done using all the material on invoice, PO, identifier, 45666, we are now going to use 37665. I mean, you're already having to do this, okay? So while they can automatically click it here, they are still going to have to let the purchasing person know we are now starting on the next order of wood. The reason they have to let them know that, let's go back, okay? I'm going to go back to manager, could be the bookkeeper, because this way, when I'm in lumber and I'm the person who's the buyer, I'm monitoring it, I can say, okay, they just told me I just switched to the next PO and we bought that one from Timo Lumber and now my cost is 50 cents, okay, per board foot. Buyer can always watch it here, but it tends to be more effective instead of them coming to say, oh, did it change, someone on the floor just as you're doing now, is going to say, yes, we have switched POs, so that way the person who is entering your pricing and doing the vendor can go right to the details, they can change who the order is for, and they can set their pricing. Whoops, well, of course, that should have been two by fours. If that's not clear, go ahead and let Joseph know, and let me know what you think might be a little confusing, and I'll see if I can go ahead and clarify it.